Do you remember a time when cell phones were rare? Today it's hard to imagine a world without them. In today's video, we will reveal to you who invented the first cell phone, so stick around to find out. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe with notifications on, so you do not miss any of our new videos. Also, feel free to follow us on social media, links in the description box down below. It all started when Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, in 1876, and then in 1900. And on December 23rd, on the outskirts of Washington, D.C., an inventor named Reginald Fessenden accomplished the remarkable feat. He made the first wireless telephone call, he was the first to transmit the human voice via radio waves. Fessenden's work paved the way for broadcast radio, but it also provided the foundation for cell phones and networks. In 1947, an engineer named William Ray Young proposed that radio towers put in a hexagonal pattern could support a telephone network. Young's design allowed for low-power transmitters to carry calls across the network. Companies like AT&T started offering some customers the chance to use radio telephones. These devices were primitive compared to today's cell phones and resembled walkie-talkie transceivers. Only a few calls sometimes as few as three could be made on the system at a time. Add on that, the phones were expensive, and some weighed up to 80 pounds, 36.3 kilograms. By the 1960s, Bell Labs engineers, Richard H. Frankio, and Joel S. Engel, developed the technology that could support Young's design. But as AT&T saw permission from the FCC to develop a cellular network, a competitor made a bold and cheeky move in 1973. That competitor was Martin Cooper, who at the time was an executive with Motorola, one of AT&T's competitors. Cooper led a team that designed the first practical cell phone, it was called the Motorola DIN Attack. And it still wasn't a tiny device, it was 9 inches, 22.9 centimeters, long, and weighed 2.5 pounds, 1.1 kilograms. It would take more years to build out cellular networks and drive down production costs to make cell phones a viable commercial product. But after more than a century of research and development, the considerable investment has paid off.